It's time for this week's episode of Brandon Sports Talk, featuring in-depth interviews from those who are trending in the world of athletics. And now, here's the host of Brandon Sports Talk, Brandon Pate. Welcome back to Brandon Sports Talk. In today's episode, I have a privilege to interview the Buffalo Buttes NWHL slash PHF professional hockey player, Luisa Labursta. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, thank you. Can you talk about how you knew that you wanted to play professional hockey? Well, I always loved to play hockey, uh, but when I was younger, they didn't have like the prof- professional leagues that they have today but I knew I wanted to play at the highest level I could. And then I got the opportunity to play professional hockey in Sweden and I loved it. And I really love like that you get to practice and play games together and against uh, the best players in the world. Uh, But in Sweden, I didn't have the chance to like only play hockey. I also needed to have a full-time job on the side so this is my first year when I can focus 100% uh, on hockey and my training, and I love every day of it. What was it like playing internationally in Sweden? It was really good. Like, the league in Sweden is very good. Uh, we get a lot of good players, both from Europe, Sweden, and uh, also from North America. So it's a good league, and it's developing every year. Uh, so I love playing it there, and... Like we had good, we had it very good in Eurogordon where I played and I felt like I became a better goalie every day and every season that I played. So I loved it. What was it like putting on the Dia Garden jersey? Well, I've been a Eurogordon fan since I was a little kid. So of course it was a big honor to put on the jersey for the first time. And that was one of my dreams was to play in that team. So when I got the call from the GM and got to sign, and then when we played the first game and I got to put the jersey on it, it was a big moment for me. What was that feeling like of obviously you said you were a fan of the team and now you get to play with the team. What was that feeling like of going from being a fan to now a professional player playing for that favorite team? It was just a big honor like I had goosebumps the first game I played in the Eurogordon jersey so like when I was a kid I went to the arena watching the men's team play and now I was the player that put on the jersey and went out on the same ice as as the ones that I looked up to when I was a kid so yeah it was a huge honor. Of course during your time playing with them what was it like having those players and even fans look up to you that were in the same shoes as what you are now? I love it. Like when I was younger, we didn't have so many like role models that was uh, women's hockey players. They were mostly like men's hockey players that you looked up to. So I really want to be a role model for the younger, uh, both uh, girls and boys that want to play professional hockey. So I just try to like spread my knowledge and like help them in the way that I can. And just like, even if you can just motivate one girl to keep playing, that's it for me. What was it like playing for the national team of Sweden? Oh, wow. That was amazing. Uh, I like, I did my debut in um, the national team pretty late. So I wouldn't say that I had given up on the, like thoughts of playing for the national team but maybe it wasn't the biggest thing in my head so when I got the call from the coach and he said that he had selected me I was so happy but also kind of in a little bit of a shock but it was amazing and like to put on the jersey and represent your nation it's oh I can't even describe it it's just so cool What was that feeling like of putting on that jersey to represent your nation and have your name on the back? I remember still today, like when I was supposed to play my first game, um, actually against the U.S., uh, like when I took the jersey on, it was just 
a dream come true and it was kind of surreal but because I couldn't really believe that it was me putting on that jersey but it was just yeah it was an amazing feeling and yeah as I said the, with the Euro Gordon jersey I just had goosebumps all over my body. What was it like going through the Buffalo Buttes international draft and obviously getting to sign with the Buffalo Buttes? It was a, a really cool process. Uh, I didn't expect it, that it would be like so big uh, and that it would get so much attention, but it was so much fun to be in like a draft, even if it's not like the bigger draft, they, they only, all the teams had only had like one pick. But of course it was amazing. Like it felt like a real professional uh, draft and it was, yeah, it was just amazing. And then to sign with the Buttes is, I'm so happy that they have given me this opportunity to like see the world and like play hockey here in the US and explore the, the different type of hockey that it is here compared to Europe. What was it like whenever you got the call from GM Nate that obviously he was going to sign you? I was actually very surprised. Uh, I had just gone through a hip surgery. So I was kind of like, I didn't really know what to do and where I would play next this season. So when Nate contacted me, I was so surprised because I didn't expect it at all. Uh, but I was also very happy uh, that they... Like they that they wanted me here and that they wanted to give me this chance, even though I, as I said, I went through my hip surgery and they still wanted to give me this opportunity. And I'm so grateful for that. What was the feeling like whenever you got to sign and put the pen to paper that you are now officially a Buffalo Beatles player? Uh, of course, very, I was very happy. Like when I got the contract and got to sign it, then it, it was like at that point that everything felt real. Like before that I had planned and I had talked to Nate and I had talked to Coach Ria, but when I like signed the contract, that was the moment that it felt like, okay, this is really happening. Of course, what was that feeling like during media day that whenever you got to put on the jersey, the powder blue Buffalo Butte jersey for the first time and get to see what you were actually gonna wear on game days? Uh, it felt amazing and like I love the baby blue and the black colors so I love our jerseys and it just felt amazing to put on that jersey and knowing that this is the team that I'm going to represent this year and we're an amazing group of people so I think I think it's going to be a fun year. How does it feel to obviously have Buttes fans wearing your jersey and obviously getting your autograph and taking photos with you? I love that, that stuff. Like we had a lot of fans home in Eurogordon too. So I think it's going to be pretty much the same, but I love to, to like take pictures with fans. And like, if you see someone in the stands wearing my Jersey, that would just warm my heart. So hopefully we get to see a lot of fans on our games this season. What's it going to be like this year, obviously getting to learn under Carly Jackson, the goalie, and obviously getting that experience with her? I think we, like both me, CJ and Katie, uh, we get along very well. And they're both very good goalies. So I think we will like learn from each other and like help, help each other develop. And we can, I think we can all like give bits and pieces of our games to each other. So, yeah, I think we're going to have a lot of fun and help each other grow as goalies and people. Of course, what was it like putting on that custom goalie mask that obviously you got? Uh, it was amazing. I, I love my mask. Like, I've had four masks now in a row that has been painted by the same, uh, the same guy, uh, Dave Art, home in Sweden. And uh, I have small details that I've had on all of my masks. Uh, so of course I wanted them on my Buttes mask as well. But I think it turned out very well. Like the colors are amazing and he did an awesome job to like getting the details to pop out. So yeah, it's, I love putting it on every day. Of course, when the season starts, are we gonna be able to see you in that custom mask? Yes, I have it already. So you, you will see it.
what's it going to feel like this year, obviously with the PHF going to obviously ESPN plus, what is that going to feel like to be on national television? It's amazing. Like, I think it's a big step for women's hockey. And I mean, you're going to, we're going to be on ESPN. Like that's a big channel to be on. So I think it's going to be amazing for all of us players. And as I said, a big step for women's hockey and hopefully more people will see uh, our sport and like appreciate the game. Who are some players that you look up to in the hockey community? Like the big uh, role model that I've had since I was a little kid is uh, Henrik Lundqvist. Uh, I looked up to him for a long time now and I think he has, he had an amazing career and I always enjoyed like his style of play uh, but also his mentality like he he has the I don't know but like when it comes to it like he can play the best hockey ever and yeah I I love I love it what's it gonna feel like to obviously play with Carly Jackson Kate Clay Flag, and also Taylor Kersey this year uh, it's gonna be so much fun I love meeting new uh, new people and I've already like been with the team for a few weeks now and I love it here and all of my teammates are amazing. So it's going to be so much fun to get to know everyone more and like learn from each other as hockey players every day and compete for the Isabel Cup together. What is that going to feel like obviously this year with a normal season getting to play those games and obviously get to compete for the Isabel Cup to obviously go to the Isabel Cup this year? Uh, it's going to be so much fun. I know that they, like last season, they didn't have so many games here. Uh, but in Sweden, we were lucky enough to have a full season. So I'm used to playing games. And yeah, I just want the, the games to get started so we can start competing together. What are some similarities and differences between playing in Sweden and obviously playing with the Buffalo Buttes in the PHF? What I've experienced so far is like, uh, like the skill level on the players are pretty even. Like there are a lot of good individual skilled players both here and in the league in Sweden. Uh, the biggest difference is the, the smaller rink here. So the game is a bit different because it's a little bit more intense here because uh, you don't have the same space on the ice. And just for me as a goalie, I've noticed that it's more... Uh, the players go straighter to the net, like the angles are a bit different and uh, the players go much harder on the rebounds. So I think it's just a different style of game, but the skill level is pretty much the same. Of course, with the league, are there any players in the league that aren't Buffalo Bees players that you look up to and are ready to play against? Uh, I actually don't have... Like, a specific player that I look up to. I haven't followed the league that much, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, but it's going to be really fun to play against my old teammate, Ali Monroe, uh, that plays for the Connecticut Wales. So, and she's an amazing D, so it's going to be fun to play against her. Of course, what advice would you give professional hockey players looking to go internationally? I would say take the opportunity. Uh, I think it's a great opportunity to to play a different type of hockey and develop as a hockey player, but also get to see like other places as a person and develop as a person too. So if you get the opportunity and want to go for it, I would just say do it. What advice would you give the international hockey players that are looking to transition from playing internationally to obviously getting in the PHF and PWHPA? Uh, like I've had a good experience so far uh, I haven't been here for so long but I think it's a professional league and uh, like everything how it's uh, how everything is around the team and the practices and the game is very professional so I'm very happy that I took the chance to come here so I would say like the same thing if you want to go and get this opportunity and experience then you should just do it. That's great advice. Where can my listeners find you at on social media? Uh, so I, yeah, both my Instagram and Twitter is Lolo Burnton. So it's my nickname and my last name. 
So I'm mostly active on Instagram. I'm, I don't tweet that much. So Instagram is the best choice to follow me on. Thank you again, Louiska Lobarskin, for your interview and best of luck in your future as you begin your career as a Buffalo Beats. Thank you so much and thank you for having me. You can find Brandon Sports Talk on Facebook at Brandon Sports Talk, Instagram at Brandon Sports Talk, Twitter at Doc underscore Brandon, and you can find me on YouTube at Brandon Sports Talk. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you again for your interview and best of luck in your future. You've been watching Brandon Sports Talk. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to Brandon Sports Talk on social media and on YouTube.